What's up, YouTube? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. But before I get in, I got a good one, hopefully, for y'all. Uh, like, share, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. All right. Draymond Green. Draymond Green. Draymond Green. So recently, Draymond Green said during the All-Star game as an analyst, said that his resume compares to LeBron James or stacks up to LeBron James. And I would say simply because he probably has four rings. They both have four rings, but everything else, no. So that doesn't really stack up. Just because you have four rings as a role player doesn't mean you stack up to LeBron James at all. But anyways, so as that, because uh, I know Draymond Green was with the Inside NBA crew, and you know how it gets between him and Charles Barkley. For some reason, Draymond Green thinks he's on the level of Charles Barkley, which he is not at all. Just like I said, just because you got rings doesn't make you the better player. Charles Barkley, in his heyday, in his prime, would run circles. Well, I would say run circles. Would dominate Draymond Green. But anyways, we ain't here to talk about that. But Charles Barkley... Had something to say that's seen as very funny but also possibly true. So Charles Barkley tells Draymond Green the Warriors are Kirk during the All-Star Game telecast. I'm reading this off Yahoo News, Sports News. Charles Barkley had an exchange with Golden State Warriors veteran Draymond Green on a TBS broadcast of the 2023 NBA All-Star Game on Sunday that revamped a long-standing beef. The inside NBA and Hall of Famer and also, happy birthday, Chuck, or belated happy birthday now. Analyst has gone on the record about his hate for the Warriors fans, and he called for, for them once again on Sunday why he gave his opinions, those are opinions, on the team's outlook for the remainder of the season. The Golden State Warriors are cooked. Kenny, Kenny, the Golden State Warriors are cooked. I bet $5 I'll bite off Krispy Kreme that the Golden State Warriors are cooked. Can it? Earn it. Earn it. Listen. They're cooking. And then Draymond Green said, I'm not going to do Draymond Green's voice. That's crazy, Green Quip. You said that last year, but we all know. Don't know, but. Shoot, sorry. You said that last year, but we all know you don't know what you're talking about. When Barkley claimed not to have doubted the Warriors last year before they came back and won a title, Green said, You say that every year. You say that every year since I've been in the league. That's not true, but y'all are cooked now, Bre Barkley said. Or better yet. That's not true, but y'all are cooked now. Y'all are cooked now. That wall coming up now. All right, I'm done. Barkley said of his team currently holding ninth place in the Western Conference. Y'all are done. That still leaves us four NBA championships ahead of you, boss. Green concluded. Here you go again, talk. Here you go. See, Shaq did that same thing to uh, Chuck, too. I got four rings, Chuck. I got four rings. Even though Shaq is a way better player than what Draymond Green had, was. But anyways, moving on. Uh, Barkley is one. Yeah, yeah, we know about Barkley's highlights. Um, uh, it goes on with their beef. Uh, with the, yeah, they keeps going on with their beef and how... Um, Draymond Green seed, he's new media. All right. I don't care about all that. We already know about that beef between them two. Here's what I want to take out what Charles Barkley said, actually. Um, I don't know if he said, I don't remember if he said it last year about them being cooked. Yeah, he was wrong if he did say it last year. But this year, it's a little bit different for the Warriors. Um, it's a little bit different. Problem is in, problems are for the Warriors at this moment. Some people might not like to face the facts. For one, they too injury prone. Stephen Curry comes back from injury, from separating his shoulder, and now he's out again with, I think he torn something in his leg. That's been an issue for the whole season. Clay has his moments, but I made a video about Clay earlier in the season. He's just not the same Clay as he once been. Draymond Green has never been that person to lead a team, so we ain't going to talk about him. Jordan Poole needs to be, 
I wouldn't say more refined to lead a team. I think he is the future of the Golden State Warriors, but he needs a little bit more, let's say, experience and know when to calm down, know when to do certain things on the court. Uh, they do have Dante DiVincenzo for defensive support, but um, this year is a little bit different. And yeah, a year older, of course. I think Stephen Curry's coming upon 35 years old this year, I think. And he has a lot of wear and tear on him. It, it, it's possibly if they can get out of the play-in round, they can get to the playoffs, of course, but they are probably going to be a low seed if they keep this up. Because I don't know when Stephen Curry's coming back. Supposedly he's supposed to come back after the All-Star break. But um, they're, they're terrible on the road. Their defense is just not the same. You know, I think they got Gary Payton Jr. or the second back, which might help a little bit defensive-wise. I'm sure they needed that. But this team just has too many chemistry issues between two people, I think. I really think, and I think a lot of people still seriously think, that punch that Drayvon Green gave Jordan Poole really has cooked the uh, chemistry. People might not see it. You might not see it on TV. But I'm sure there's still... I'm still trying to wonder how... I'm sorry. If somebody punches me, sucker punches me the way Draymond Green did to Jordan Poole, there's no coming back from that. I'm sure you can act cordial, but I know deep down, at least for me at least, somebody did that to me. It's going to be very hard for me to work with a guy like that. After the time, my mind's about getting my lick back. And after the time, I'm just saying, this guy's an ass shat. But that's just me when it comes to somebody doing bodily harm like that. get Especially getting away with it when nothing really happened to him. But I think it's a, it's been a lack of defense for them this season. At times, they look like their old selves. And at times, it's just like, what, what, what is this team doing? But, um... If they can stay in within the 7 to 10 spot, then yeah, they might have a chance to beat somebody in the play-in and get to the uh, playoffs. If not, it's going to be a repeat of the season before last season or the season before that season. But yeah, I think as far as the Warriors' outlook even past this year, yeah, there's going to be a lot of retooling going on with this team. It may not be Draymond Green on there anymore. From the way it sounds. And Clay Thompson may be gone. Maybe. And it might be just Steph. Just to retire. Grow and retire there. But we shall see. But Charles. Sometimes he's right. Sometimes he's not. Uh, I'm guessing he might be right with this one. And Draymond Green. As you all know. In his feelings as usual. But tell me.